it was really eye-opening for me that discussion I had with the guys from the anti-doping agency it really changed my perspective about sports in general. What's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'd like to discuss about a very important topic and actually open the eyes to a lot of you who don't know the truth behind modern sports. But today we're going to focus specifically on the Olympics and on football. So in order for you to understand what is going on, I have to tell you a story. This happened back in 2013, so more than 10 years ago, when I used to be a member of the national fitness team of Romania. So because I was getting ready for the World Championships, which happened in Kiev in Ukraine, I had to go to Bucharest exactly two weeks before the competition and I had to do a blood test. It was a urine sample and also a blood sample. So I got to the anti-doping agency, which is a branch of WADA, World Anti-Doping Association. So while we were waiting and fill up the forms and this stuff and the other, guys from ANAD, the anti-doping agency, started to tell different stories and what was shocking for me is that they were saying something along the lines of, yes, fitness and bodybuilding, you know, it's very obvious that most of the guys are using because we can just see them and you can just spot them because of the way they look. But when it comes to the most widespread doping phenomenon, it's going to be in football and in the Olympics. And we were like, what? How is that even possible? Actually thinking about it now is like some of these athletes, you know, obviously they have elite genetics and everything, but come on, the way they look, it's definitely a sign that they are using something. And why wouldn't they? I mean, football, uh, all these Olympics uh, games, they are a source of astronomical revenue. There's so much money involved, I think more in football, 100% more in football. So if you are a football player and your dream is to get to one of the biggest football teams in Europe, of course you're going to do everything possible. And they were saying, guys, the football players, they are using the most amount of performance enhancing drugs, not anabolic steroids to build the muscle, but they are using the most amount of performance enhancing drugs to make them better players, to make them uh, better athletes. So um, a lot of the times uh, you see a football player dropping dead on the pitch. Like, why do you think that happens? Of course, there are anomalies. People are born with certain heart conditions, which maybe they never know. But a lot of the times, the guys they were saying, a lot of the times it's due to anabolic use, sometimes anabolic uh, abuse. And let's not forget that a lot of these uh, football players who have a lot of money, they're gonna go into partying and they're gonna, gonna be start to use like uh, recreational drugs. And uh, from there it's just a snowball of problems and sometimes they just collapse and they just die on the spot. Uh, without any warning basically but the reality is in these high level of sports people will look for every single thing to get an edge it doesn't matter if it's this much if they give them an edge they're gonna take it 100 even there was a uh, like a study and they asked the olympic athletes if you know that you would take a drug and then you would get first place but then you'll cut literally cut 10 years of your life <laughs> Most of them said like, yes, they would do it, they would take it. So you can imagine the mindset they have, you can imagine what goes through their mind because they just want to win, they just don't care about anything else. Uh, you know, the same thing with football, like how many, even I was a kid and I remember I wanted to be a football player when I was very, very young. And yeah, just people, there are ways to do it, yeah, they will just do it. So this is a lot of the times shocking to hear if you've never heard this before but your favorite football player your favorite athletes in the olympics they most likely are using something so there's so many ways so many ways to do this so many ways to cheat the system so many ways and when there's so much money involved just nobody gives a crap anymore they're just gonna do whatever it takes and as a country like china as like america they just don't care about, you know, they just want the results. They want to be number one in the world. They want to have the most medals and they can do it. They have the money, so why not? But um, as we all know, these events, sports in general is not about health. It's about performance. It's about results. It's about money. So yeah, I hope this video was quite eye-opening for you. 
It was really eye-opening for me that discussion I had with the guys from the anti-doping agency. It really changed my perspective about sports in general. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.